forehand right now for Bilenko on the receive. There it is, less spin on that first chop, especially with the long pips. So the ball is overlifted and floated out quickly. Beautiful shot. Bilenko spilling out on the forehand side of the table. The first two shots of that rally were with different with the racket in different formations. So the twiddle right after the first ball from Bilenko. There was the twiddle again. Two. I had a chance to ask Tanya, that's Tatiana Bilenko, about her habit of twiddling so much, how she keeps track. She said she's always had a sense for it. She's been doing it since she was young. It'd be very difficult to block though, with the long pips. Chop, yes, take a ball off the bounce from time to time, but block such a strong loop right back when you're close to the table, very tough ask. Pressure from one jaw, working it around the table, keeping Bilanco guessing. One, five. Now I brought up the age thing where one jaw at 27 years mm. old, not too many players play past that for the Chinese national one, team. 28-year-old Li Xiaoxia recently retiring after the Olympic Games. In Bilanco's case, 33, and is maybe at her peak. Very close. Her peak ranking so far again happened when she was 32 years old just last year. And is having an outstanding tournament so far. Very rare to see the windshield wiper serve here. Crushing forehand flat hit. The variety in services too from Bilanko. Just trying to think who else I see at the world class level doing that windshield wiper underspin serve. And there's some variation on it too. The amounts of underspin, sometimes you can put a little top spin on it depending on the timing of the contact. That one sits up just too high. One jaw rounds the corner and flat hits it for the point. The backhand attack with the long pips. This is one of the brilliant things about being such a twiddler is that she's capable of doing anything with anything. A flat hit off the long pips from the back of the table, so difficult to do. Bilanko makes it look like no problem. And once again, an attack with the long pips. She even served with the long pips. This is incredibly rare for most players. They will twiddle to have the inverted rubber to control the spin of the serve. <laughs> but sometimes serving with the long pips makes the receiver quite confused. Because from the start of the point, there's less spin on the ball than you're used to. Seven, six. Fast deep serve into the backhand side. One job with an outright point. Well, that ball sits Seven, up a little eight. bit higher. It's still deep on the table. There's pressure. Many players see a ball sitting high against a chopper, think they can flat hit through it. Close for one jaw, top of the net, but still. 
extra heavy chop. There's that Eight. underspin on the serve. Eight. The wrist so flexible, comes back and behind the ball, down underneath on the windshield wiper serve. Two quick points for Bilanco. Forehand right now for Bilenko on the receive. There it is, less spin on that first chop, especially with the long pips. So the ball's overlifted and floated out quickly. Beautiful shot. Bilenko spilling out on the forehand side of the table. The first two shots of that rally were with different with the racket in different formations. So the twiddle right after the first ball from Bilanco. There was the twiddle again. Two. One, two. I had a chance to ask Tanya, that's Tatiana Bilanco, about her habit of twiddling so much, how she keeps track. She said she's always had a sense for it. She's been doing it since she was young. It'd be very difficult Three, to block though one. with the long pips. Chop, yes, take a ball off the bounce from time to time, but block such a strong loop right back when you're close to the table. Very tough ask. Four. Pressure one. from one jaw working it around the table, keeping Bilanco guessing. I brought up the age thing where Wun Jia at 27 years old, not too many players play past that for the Chinese national team. 28-year-old Li Xiaoxia recently retiring after the Olympic Games. In Bilenko's case, 33, and is maybe at her peak, very close. Her peak Two, ranking five. so far again happened when she was 32 years old just last year. And is having an outstanding tournament so far. Very rare to see the windshield wiper serve here. Crushing forehand flat hit. Forehand right now for Bilenko on the receive. There it is, less spin on that first chop, especially with the long pips. So the ball is overlifted and floated out quickly. Beautiful shot. Bilenko spilling out on the forehand side of the table. The first two shots of that rally were with different, with the racket in different formations. So the twiddle right after the first ball from Bilenko. There was the twiddle again. Two. One, two. I had a chance to ask Tanya, that's Tatiana Bilenko about her habit of twiddling so much, how she keeps track. She said she's always had a sense for it. She's been doing it since she was young. It would be very difficult to block though with the long pips. Chop, yes, take a ball off the bounce from time to time, but block such a strong loop right back when you're close to the table. Very tough ask. Pressure from one jaw, working it around the table, keeping Bilanco guessing. One, five. No, I brought up the age thing where one jaw at 27 years old, not too many players play past that for the Chinese national one, team. 28-year-old Li Xiaoxia recently retiring after the Olympic Games. In Bilanco's case, 33, and is maybe at her peak, very close. Her peak Ooh, ranking five. so far again happened when she was 32 years old just last year. And is having an outstanding tournament so far. Very rare to see the windshield wiper serve here. Crushing forehand flat hit. The variety in services too from Bilanco. Just trying to think who else I see at the world class level doing that windshield wiper underspin serve. And there's some variation on it too. The amounts of underspin, sometimes you can put a little top spin on it depending on the timing of the contact. That one sits up just too high. One jaw rounds the corner and flat hits it for the point. Four, six. 
cheeks. The backhand attack with the long pips. This is one of the brilliant things about being such a twiddler is that she's capable of doing anything with anything. A flat hit off the long pips from the back of the table, so difficult to do. Bilanko makes it look like zero over China's one jaw. Well placed right into the middle on the elbow. One jaw taking the point. Against defenders, it's very important when they're near the table to try to get them crossed over, hitting into the middle. I guess even deep from the table, if you can apply that pressure, very helpful. But the, tactic, the tactics seem quite different here. One jaw looking to get in early while Bilanko is still close to the table. So in the last round, Tatiana Bilanko beat Singapore's Jo Yi Han. Very good win for Bilanko. Look at the angle here, inside out forehand. This is what you'd expect from a left-handed player sometimes. Their specialty, again, left-handed players are far more used to playing right-handed players than right-handed players are used to playing left-handed. So that's one of the big advantages of being a left-handed player. Well anticipated, the block comes back. Bilenko keeps the pressure on to get her first point. Tomahawk served with the backhand attack with the long pips goes long. Very different score so far in game two. It feels like we just started the game and it's almost a halfway point here. Wow, rushing the table, the blitz backhand. So quick for Bilenko to get in. Talked about footwork and leg strength. As soon as Bilenko realizes there's an opportunity, again, she's quite tall, uses that wingspan, reaches out in front and gets in over the table. Look at this, it was down 1-5, now just a two-point game. This is one of the beauties of the switch from 21 points in 2001 to an 11-point game. What appears to be quite a dominant lead can quickly turn. This adds to the amount of unpredictability and excitement in the sport. Again, the top spin, the fishing shot from Bilenko wins the point. We don't see it often, but it's won a pretty high percentage of points right now against Wunja. Wunja tries to take it easy again. I'm sorry, tries to take it early, not easy. She tries to calm herself after that. Players often more familiar with the top spin shot coming back from a defender. Like to take it off the bounce. Once again, the top spin. This time it was almost a lob. Deep on the table, quite a high arcing ball. From this angle will be much clearer. Uh, still a fishing ball above head height. I guess it's sort of a blurry line. When such a defensive shot with topspin comes back, how aggressive it is. This is unbelievable. When you look at the different strategies that Tetiana Bilenko has used, she was down 1-5. She wins five out of the next six points. 
the four of them have had topspin. And they're not juice hook counter forehands. They're fishing shots from off the table that have really just thrown a wrench into the system for one jaw. Seven, six. Now one nice thing about winning a lot of points with topspin as a defender is when you get back into the defensive game, the attacker is going to have less rhythm. They're going to be less familiar with the timing involved. The longer an attacker plays a chopper, the more they settle into the game, typically. Outstanding point. One jaw hanging in there for almost everything. A flat hit, long pit attack, a spinny forehand from Tetiana Bilanko. Definitely the longest point of the rally so far, and what a versatile point it was. A real test for one jaw. Backhand punch from right in front of the body from Bilenko. It was a counterattack. The twiddles again. Look how many times she twiddles that backhand punch off a top spin shot with the long pip side of the racket. When people change equipment, it always blows my mind because being able to be familiar with what you're using is so important. And Bilenko demonstrates that clearly. Well played right to the legs. Crossover points. And John now with a two point lead. Has the opportunity, a difficult shot nonetheless. Bilenko's made. Equally, and if not, yeah, but I'd say more difficult shots throughout the match so far. One jaw now with three game points to tie it up at one game apiece. Not Vladimir. Once again, the backhand long tip attack. Again, typically if you're playing a long pips player, a dead long serve into the long pip side opens up an easier third ball because it's going to come back long with little rotation. But if the long pip player can attack with those long pips, it's very tricky. Galeon yeah. indeed, a beautiful shot right there by one jaw. Not too often we see Bilenko miss the contact from that far off the table. Outstanding play from Bilenko. For one jaw to recover that opening attack, too. Very impressive she could get the ball back into play. Anticipates it well. Lenko with a dart right there. Flat, fast shot out to the forehand side. At this level of play, I would say one jaw is quite familiar. But in many tournaments at a slightly lower level, people forget how important the variation of placement is from the defender, especially when you're in near the table and can create angles. Oh, serious pressure from Bilenko with that deep shot. Some counter topspin, but the follow-up ball just misses the contact. A little bit of side spin introduced. Bilenko's done that throughout. So far in this match, you'll see at times that she comes around the ball just a little bit, lifting the elbow on her chop. 
by adding that bit of side spin, it forces one jaw to really concentrate and recalibrate to make sure she makes her shot and reads the spin properly. Quick twiddle there, backhand top spin served, didn't work out in the favor of Bilenko. One job with a good read, opportunity to get in early in the point. We've got a match on our hands, tied up here in game three. It's interesting to see the adjustments that have been made by one jaw. Bilenko's made a lot of top spin shots that have won her the points. But in game three, the percentages have changed. Yota. Bit of a floating chop off the backhand side earns a Yotza on the point from Bilenko. That was the one, comes around the outside of the ball, quickly twiddles back to put the long pips on the backhand side. Beautiful shot, counter attack from off the table and early in the rally again, was one of those around the outside of the ball, sort of tomahawk chops from the backhand side. One jaw has been able to hang in there. Read the curve balls well out here, keep them on the table. Beautiful shot, crushing from right at the back of the table. She's so fast to get in for the opportunities. A lot of players talk about the modern defensive game, meaning a defender who knows how to attack well. You've got some legendary choppers, Matthew Syed, but then you've got Juse Hook, the Aska Pro anything player of the week right now with a devastating forehand. Five, the Chinese fan club right there. Many of which flew here from the United States, actually, to watch their favorite players play. Five, seven. I have to give credit to China. The amount of fan support they have on the world tour, it's amazing. Fans will fly from all over to come see their celebrities play and support their country. Six, seven. Sounded like a hitter in the necklace on that second ball. Ball takes a jump right off the bounce after the first attack. Let's see it one more time. There's the big long pips attack. Yep, right into the necklace. Not great at lip reading, depending on the language, but. Not a single shot with the black side of the racket. Forehand, backhand, and back. Every single one had the long pips. She twiddles more frequently than any chopper I've ever seen. I call Tanya the magical chopper for that reason. It's just unbelievable how she can keep track and control the shots so consistently. I mean, each side of the racket plays so differently. Eight, eight. Long pips attack attempt. It's a high risk, high reward shot. When it goes on the table, it's very difficult for one jaw to keep in play.
There it is, it takes two top spins in the rally, but a big point to put Tatiana Bilenko in the lead. There was some persistence keeping one jaw deep into the backhand corner throughout the rally. Does seem to be a good recipe for Bilenko. Notice she's got the long pips on the forehand now for the receive. Two net recoveries for one jaw, not enough. Really has to fight against some luck there. Tough point indeed, but a big point for Bilenko. Now with two game points to take a two to one lead over one jaw. Had oil from the fans. Little Jayo, go for it. Fans at home in Ukraine, Davai. There. Not much you can do about a shot like that. One jaw taking it early off the bounce. Some real pressure. Deep cross court. Almost gets it back. Runs it down. Two shots in this rally looked like they would have finished the point. Now this is rare. You don't see too many backhand attacks against choppers. And when you do, they tend to be slower and spinnier to sort of break the rhythm and the pattern, set up the next ball for a forehand attack. One jaw there with a finishing backhand shot. Top spin serve into the body. First four points to one jaw. Starting this game off right. Now it's tough to tell sometimes from this camera angle. The ball looked like it sat up just a little bit high, got away from Bilanco. Gave one jaw a chance to assert herself early in the rally. Solid touch, Bilenko keeps it low deep on the table. First point so far this game. See how much rotation is on that ball. You can see which side of the racket she hit that with. I thought it was the long pivot side, but to generate so much spin on it, especially from near the table early in the rally. Just surprising. A little bit off the back edge of the table for Bilanco with a quick apology. Had one counter with the long pip side and quickly turned the racket around to get the top spin back into play. Before you can spin the ball, you have to contact it. A little bit of extra pace there from one John, that kicking top spin shot. Seven. That's a tough one for Bilanko. She can usually count on making this shot. Good amount of rotation there. One jaw really digging deep, coming under the ball quickly. And we're seeing much more sound play. One jaw taking some aggressive risks out here, trying to put the pressure on early. That last shot was so whip-like, just fans the wrist back a little bit to get some more wrist action on the shot. Goes for the inside-out finisher. 
She's had trouble with the high balls. But this is something that you know we've seen with left-handed Chinese players before. Michael Mays, Hao Shui. Probably just a coincidence, though. I think in general, unless you're a taller player in the women's game, you're not playing against lobs quite as much. A very focused play this time from one jaw. The ball just a little bit lower, about head height. Now against lobs, like any other shot, you really have to make sure that you're moving your feet to be in the right position to give yourself the best shot possible. Oh, that one's done, the finisher. Can't believe Bilenko got the one before back. But not the second time. One jaw confidently puts it away, just sends this one off. Takes it early, bends around the ball a little bit, and now seven game points for one jaw. Two back. One lob. We've seen Vilenko make shots like that with the long pip side of the racket. Seems like it'd be a more likely shot coming off the black inverted rubber. One, one. I was wondering earlier in the match, with the windshield wiper serves that Bilenko has, is she able to generate a little bit more side spin, less underspin, or even some top spin on that serve? One, two. While the serve was a gift for one jaw, we will see service variation throughout and creativity from Bilenko. Outstanding point. Bilenko with a crazy shot from way wide on the backhand, and nothing has phased one jaw just yet. Only one point she's dropped so far this game. And then finding the middle of Bilenko, forcing the uncomfortable shot. You can understand the frustration, understand the frustration for Bilenko right now after such a strong backhand opening. Sets her up in a really good position to take advantage of having one jaw off balance, but back into defense and can't keep the ball on the table. Haven't seen a tomahawk serve in a while. It was a tomahawk serve with the long pips and a follow-up long pip attack does not come down either. One jaw very much in control as far as the scoreboard goes here in game five. Otherwise dead even in games, 2-2. Two -two. Just drifting off the side of the table there. Just trying to see what was happening with Coach Leo Jachang. Getting up on his feet there for a moment. One John not phased again. The twiddle on the receive. At the moment the ball was tossed, Bilenko twiddles the racket, hoping to surprise one jaw. And when you toss the ball, you have a plan. Bilenko trying to just derail and mess up that plan. One, nine. While the game isn't over, it's definitely gotten away from Bilenko. Once again, spilled out over the table, but can't come back to block the next shot. It's nine game points for one jaw. Beautiful shame away from moving on to the semifinals.
not the first time we've seen one jaw keep the pressure on. Especially with Bilenko away from the table, that spinny shot to the forehand side. Bilenko really forced to think very intently about the serves here. Time out here early on in game six. So far in the last three games, this and the two before, Bilenko has scored what? Total of four points. After game four, 11 to three, it seemed like it would be tough for Bilenko to have a, I don't know, a score more dominant against her. And one jaw comes back 11 to one in the last game. From the very start of this match, you might recall Bilenko with a floating chop early on off the long pip side. One jaw over lifted, but she, as I mentioned before, when you play a chopper with a little bit more time, you tend to settle in and get more comfortable. One jaw trying to shake a leg out there, stay loose. Bilenko deep in thought about what it's gonna take. She made so many shots off the long pip side of the racket, aggressive shots. There were winning points early on, but one jaw has just started to open the face of the racket and get many back. I guess since she's adjusted to that shot, she's had one less problem. Well, yes, that was intentional. Right out of the timeout, Tatiana Bilenko gets her first point this game. Oh, back edge of the table for one jaw. The shoe screech, though, that Bilenko could get her legs out of the way for that chop and come right back in. One jaw's reading quite well, the long pips chop. Frustrating indeed, Bilenko not finding answers right now. First time we've seen the long pips chop from the forehand come into the net here against one jaw. Two quality chops. The second one sits up a little bit high, but it's deep to the backhand corner after playing wide to the forehand before. See how deep on the table that first chop is. Really takes a lot of footwork and leg strength to play against a defender. Especially if they're working you coast to coast, corner to corner. It feels like after a shot like that, a player would normally take a timeout if they had one left, but Bilenko just used hers. Even with a four point lead now down to three, one jaw does have to think. The self coaching is right on. Shot selection, a huge part of the game. Once you've played this many thousands of balls this week, you know the spin well. It's really about decision making out here, footwork and decision making. You can see the stress starting to settle in. I guess it's been settling in for a little bit now. After 11-3 and 11-1 for one jaw. Now it's rare to see exhibition points in the women's game. I can't remember seeing one. Greater comebacks than 4 9. 
So Bilenko is going to fight for every point. Had she lost that last point, it does beg the question, would we see an exhibition point? I wouldn't expect it. But at this point, it's going to be a full-out fight. Bilenko with two quick points in a row. Again, the length of the rally has been extended, typically, especially if Bilenko had been winning the points in the last few games. It's been rare that she's gotten quick points. Top of the net now, that's five match points for one jaw to move on to the women's singles semifinals. Oh, the edge of the table, a missed contact from Bilenko comes down. Thought the match was over, but she's still alive. Look at this, comes off the racket, she's standing upright. Quick apology. Ooh, can lip read that.